Just wanted to give a quick update for those that have reached out and expressed their concern for my health and my my family's health. And uh, thank you so much. You know, I've said it over and over again. And if you wonder, you know, why is this guy always talking about, you know, how important it is that people reach out? And why is he always making it a point to say how important it is, the messages, you know, but yet doesn't respond to them very quickly? Typically, when I have these types of situations going on, you deal with quite a bit, you know, and you intend to make a follow-up video pretty quickly, but you get wrapped up in other things. And, and uh, when I say wrapped up, uh, I'm talking about like wired up, poked in, poked up, or extra pokes, bad pokes, uh, multiple pokes. Sailing bags, plasma bags, chills, aches, headaches, fever, steroids, and then hospital food, last but not least. So I just want to make a very short video just to, again, thanks so many people. Um, because the advice that has been given, people are sharing. And the thing that I'm hearing over and over again is how we don't talk about this stuff enough. You know, people don't speak about their experiences enough, enough for someone who ends up getting COVID to understand, you know, what's at stake. Because you hear it on the news and you hear it, you know, you hear all the things that People say, but who do you trust, you know? And um, for instance, some advice that's been given is it's excellent advice, advice, but if you only have one kidney, some of that won't work, you know? And if you take blood thinners, they have to know that before they can give you certain medications. So it's just things like that that I've learned that I want to be able to share with people through my podcast and talking with Trini, and I intend to do that as soon as I get out of here. Um, just as a quick update, um, I have not had, they've only put me on a breather um, two for the first day I was here. Other than that, I've been breathing on my own, although it's short breaths because I end up coughing. Um, it's still... You know, I'm, I'm not I'm not needing assistance with breathing. And uh, my temperature keeps, they got good control under, over it, the steroids initially. Uh, but then it's, you know, it's coming back now. So I'm not sure how they're going to handle that. Their main concern is that I'm breathing on my own and my oxygen levels are good. So I believe I'm going to be okay. I believe I'm going to be out of here in the next day or two. You know, that's my hope. Um, there's an update. I've been making videos, and there's some things that have happened that uh, I know are going to be very valuable for people to tune in and to, to learn from. But just on this short video, I just wanted to send a quick thank you for all the advice, for all the offers to call and to... Um, to people to share their stories and what they were going through. And um, I think I'm going to offer a lot of great advice myself. Um, so just uh, know that all of your, all of your words, um, not just your words that you post on a Facebook post, but the words that you send me as a messenger on top of what you send on Facebook. It's just really encouraging and, and they're great lift me ups. And so I'll leave you with this. 
I will have updates on my channel. I will have me and my wife talk about our experiences. Um, I will just say this. I never treated this as if it was a game to be played with. I never treated this like something that, just, oh, well, it doesn't really matter. If I get it, I get it, and I'll have to deal with it. I do believe in living life. I do believe that I, especially in my situation, uh, you know, there is a risk involved with things. And do I really want to be trapped in my house? Do I really want to not go visit family? Things of that nature. You know, there's a balance. And it's up to you as an individual what that balance is and what the risks are and what's the, the risk versus reward. And so to each his own, I'm not criticizing. I will just say you don't want to get this because it sucks and um, it hurts. And... Um, I think the biggest thing is is when you expose other people and they're usually in your household, you feel horrible because you wonder if something happens to them, you know, you feel guilty. And uh, that to me is the part that would bother me the most. So for me, um, that's the thing. You know, take it seriously when you're out there wearing your mask made a joke about it earlier. I said, man, when I get out of here, I'm going to wear a freaking mask, goggles, earplugs, hairnet, scarf. I mean, I'm going to wear whatever I need to wear in order to make sure I don't get this again. I do not want this shit again. So I just wanted to give that quick update. I think, uh, I think I'm going to be all right. And I think I'll, I'll, I'm hoping I'll get out of here in the next couple of days. And uh, just a little no, side note, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but my Christmas decorations are staying up. And I'm obviously going to miss New Year's. And um, so all of that's going to come uh, later on in the year. So Christmas tree staying up and we'll open presents. And then we'll light some fireworks. So for those of you that are interested, uh, we're going to have a celebration once all of our family heals up. But we'll definitely do it somewhere where there's a lot of space, a lot of open outdoor space. And uh, we will definitely touch elbows only and wear our masks. So talk to you guys here soon. Thank you so much for your support. And uh, remember to choose the way you want to look at things. Because whether it's the nurses that have to poke me multiple times, whether it's the doctors that come in and offer things and don't realize that it's not going to work because I only have one kidney, the lab technician that comes in and pokes you in the middle of the night, then turns around 10 minutes later, comes back and says, I got to poke you again because they didn't tell me that you needed more labs. Regardless of what it is, it's not their fault. It's not their, they have good intentions. And I always just have to think that there's somebody else going through a more difficult time than I am. And I think that's the key, keeping it in mind that there's somebody who's lost somebody to COVID. There's somebody out there who's going through it right now, who is afraid, they're scared shitless that they're not going to make it through there. And um, they're not going to make it through that. So if you're out there and you are watching this video and you are in the process of dealing with COVID, there's two things. One, what do you do when you find out you have COVID? Battling it from home. And two, what do you do when you get admitted? Those will be the two subjects I'm going to explore very soon. And we'll have it on our Talking with Trini episode. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go to it. The total intention is to turn my struggles into a gift for others through business, cancer, service, and now COVID. 
got your six. Please don't forget it.